Hello, fellow designers and AutoCAD enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel where we explore the world of digital art and design. Today, we have a thrilling topic lined up for you. We'll be diving into the fascinating world of geometry once again as we show you how to draw an epicycloid using AutoCAD. So let's get started. Before we jump into drawing an epicycloid, Let's quickly understand what it is. In this um, drawing, in this design, the white line is the epicycloid. This is a mesmerizing curve formed by tracing a point, this point here, on the circumference of a smaller circle, this one here, as it rolls around the outside of a larger fixed circle or an arc, which is this one here. This intricate shape has unique properties and is widely used in various mathematical and engineering applications. Well, let's start with some math. So we want this circle to make a complete uh, revolution over that arc. That's why this circumference here needs to be equal length as that arc. We do have those 88 millimeters diameter here. And we want this to be um, the whole range 90 degrees. So how, how do I get those 176.0? I calculate the circumference of that one, which is 88 times pi which results in 276. That result, I multiply by 4 and get the circumference of that big circle here. And I divide that by pi and by 2 to get the radius. So that's how I get those 176. Now let's start drawing in an empty drawing file. And I will start with a, well, I get some layers here lined up, different colors. I'll take the blue one, the L for line, place that at the origin, zero, zero, and at um, 45 degrees, I go up these. 176, 176, all right. Then I'll place that here in the middle. I go to the arc, center, start, end. The center, the start, and the end. So this is our path. Now, I will draw another line to finish this here and then continue with another layer yellow and the line command from here um, in that same direction with 88 the diameter of our circle. Then I'll draw that circle here with a midpoint relationship here. I'll make a polar array of that line with the center here, angle between 45 degrees to have eight parts here. Then I'll switch layers again to red, go to that arc, center start end center this one start here press control to switch the direction and 45 degrees and now we will divide this arc I go to divide select the object 
an eight segment. All right. And now I want to draw some auxiliary lines here, some arcs. Um, with that same center from here to here and that again from here to here Again, from here to here, and one last time from here to here. All right. Next thing is that we copy that circle. Base point is the center and copy it to those points here. One last one over here. Okay. I will switch the layer again and draw some points and those will be at the intersection of um, those circles and those arcs so the first one is right here the next one is here the third one is here the fourth is here the fifth right there and we can just mirror those oops again mirror that one all those And the mirror line from here to that one. I don't want to erase anything. Okay, so we get those intersections. And maybe to clean, to have a better look at things, we will go to the Layer Properties Manager and Invert selection hovering over the magenta one. Switch those off. So we got a good view of all that. And then I got this one solution layer. And we'll connect with the spline fit command. Those points. Okay, and then finally, um, switch on everything. And maybe we want to dimension um, our objects here. That first circle, 88, that radius. 176 and the angular dimension here here 90 degrees well look at that mesmerizing epicycloid we just created with AutoCAD it perfectly represents the path traced by our rolling small circle around the larger fixed circle 
And that brings us to the end of today's tutorial on drawing an epicycloid using AutoCAD. I hope you found this video informative and inspiring. Let your creativity soar as you experiment with different parameters and explore the wonders of geometry within your digital designs. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button before below for more exciting content. I see you in the next video.